January in Connecticut. And oddly enough, it is warm enough, actually more than warm enough, to hop on the bike and go get some lunch. So that's what we're gonna do. Normally, we have a few months of absolutely no possible way to ride a motorcycle from about October to March or April-ish. So this is kind of nice. So we'll see how this little ride goes here. so good. I actually can't believe how warm it is out here right now. It's crazy. And we're going to be super careful. There's a lot of sand and salt and whatnot on the roads. So we do have to be a little bit cautious, but I figured, you know what, we're going to take a ride. We might as well film it. Give you guys a little winter moto vlog, which is, again, crazy. For January to be able to ride a bike in January, nuts. But I wanted to uh, take a moment and apologize for the lack of videos and probably the lack of videos over the next month or so. Um, got some stuff going on personal wise that, you know, you guys don't really need to know about, but it's going to kind of hinder my ability to make videos for a little bit. And uh, we're going to be busy, busy, busy doing some other stuff. Just overall trying to get our bearings. But, uh, it's a good thing, definitely a good thing, so it'll be good for, for everybody involved, but um, I wanted to say too that, uh, you know, hysterically, there's been more and more bad comments on some of my older videos, which I find hilarious, by the way, so if you guys are leaving bad comments, thank you, um, because those comments really help with everything. They help with CPM, they help with views, they help with uh, getting my videos kind of pushed up in the rankings and everything else. So, if you're commenting bad, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you're commenting good, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I truly appreciate it and your kind words. And I'm glad that, uh, you know, I've been able to kind of help some of you guys out with whatever it is that you're working on. You know, whether it be cars, trucks, boats, motorcycles, Whatever it might be, you know, if it's got wheels or tires or motors or anything like that, we'll, we'll pretty much fix it. So, we got some more welding stuff coming up. Uh, we got some stuff that uh, we're going to be doing for Jimmy, which is not unusual. We do a lot of stuff with those guys. Love those guys. Him and Adam are amazing. Um, and super fun to work with, too. You know, they're, uh, they let me have my creative freedom and... You know, they also know what they're doing, which helps. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing some more work with them and that should be a good time. Um, you know, I'm kind of addressing a lot right off the rip, but I wanna kinda of get it all out of the way. Those of you that ordered shirts, please accept my sincerest apologies. Um, part of the issue was on the manufacturer's side, but most of the issue has been on my side and I know you guys paid for your shirts and I promise you, you will have them soon and then we will be working with a manufacturer that can get them to us within the week 
that we order so that'll be amazing too we'll be able to get that done but uh stick with me guys I'm, I'm so sorry for the delay but we'll definitely make sure we have them very very soon but yeah so you know just things are getting crazy around the shop it's a new year there's money floating around people want to spend it I'm trying to weed out a lot of the uh a lot of the tire kickers i want to say because one of the, the worst parts about what I do and being in the public eye is that I probably get anywhere from 25 to 100 messages per day. And that's between telephone calls, text messages, Instagram DMs, Facebook messages, emails to my uh, website, emails to my actual account, and various other forms of communication. So the problem is that I'm spending you know, four to five hours a day just going back and forth with messages on Instagram and Facebook and whatever not. And out of, you know, maybe every hundred messages, I'll book one job, which I'm super thankful for that one job, but I spend, you know, between four and six hours a day going through all that stuff. So one of the things I'd love to ask you guys especially, and I'm going to post a little something about this on Instagram as well, is... I do work for the public. Um, that is my main business. I am a general repair facility and a welding facility. However, I am by myself. And to be able to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one for hours on end when there is no... There is no intention of actually doing the job. There's only intention of, you know, maybe getting a price and trying to figure out where your spending limit is and things of that nature um, unfortunately is eating into not only my time as a fabricator but it's eating into my time as my general maintenance customers are suffering because I'm having to spend hours on end dealing with work that never gets booked um, so if I can ask you this one favor please before you contact me in any way, shape, or form, whether it be, you know, YouTube, Instagram, email, telephone, whatever, do your research, um, you know, see how much things cost, take a look at what materials cost for what it is you're looking to do, and, uh, you know, kind of get an overall idea of what your budget is, because that will determine whether or not we can do what you want to do. You know, if you've got a $500 budget, and you want a downpipe and a complete custom exhaust, you're... You're going to need to save up three times that um, to even get started. So, I mean, custom work is not cheap. Custom work is not free. That's another thing. Um, and, you know, you really have to be prepared for the potential that you're going to end up spending a really decent amount of money for a really decent piece. So, you know, whereas just a, a quick for example is, you know, a complete titanium cat back from Tomei. You can get them for... 700 bucks, 800 bucks, whatever online. Whereas if I make a, a full titanium cat back, you're looking at somewhere close to, you know, $2,000, $2,500. And that's because the grade of titanium is much better. The materials are much, much more costly. My time and effort to build, you know, one single custom exhaust out of titanium could potentially take 40 hours. And in that 40 hours, um, you know, depending on the car, the average is about 10 to 15 hours, but, you know, let's just say 20 hours on average. That 20 hours is time that I can't be doing anything else but building your exhaust. My regular customers get pushed aside, my other fabrication customers get pushed aside, and all my general maintenance has to come to a halt in order for me to build that exhaust. So I have to make it cost effective for myself, but yet stay, you know, relatively competitive with the rest of the, uh, with the rest of the market. Now, I refuse to and cannot compete with things like eBay and CX Racing and, you know, Tomei and all that other stuff. I refuse to try to compete with stuff that is literally quality-wise, not anywhere near what I'm manufacturing and not using the quality materials that I'm using. Although CX and eBay and all those other guys do make a good product, they make a good product for the price that you're paying. But you can guarantee that with me, you know, when you buy a product from me and you spend the good money, you're going to get the good service. You're going to get, you know 
any kind of service that you need. If I build a piece for you and something happens to it, I'll usually take care of it for you, um, unless it's obviously downright abuse. But yeah, so with all that being said, just please, guys, you know, do me a favor and don't contact me until you have all of the details, until you're ready to actually do the job, until you're ready to, you know, commit to something. Because if you're not ready to commit to something and I spend an hour and a half on the phone with you, that's an hour and a half that someone else is waiting that they didn't have to wait because you weren't serious and you were just, you know, tired thinking. So please do me that favor, guys. And that'll help out all of, you know, all of us out big time because I'll be able to be more efficient and uh, be able to get back to the guys who are serious and really want to get something done. So, yeah. Now that we got that out of the way, we, uh... I can't believe it's freaking July. July. Listen to me. I'm thinking it's July. It's January. It's 60 degrees. The sun's out. The riding weather's really, really nice. Man. This is amazing. So how was everybody's holidays? You know, it's really odd because it screwed me up big time this year because the holidays were in the middle of the week. So, you know... Christmas and New Year's were in the middle of the week, so now for some reason I can't get my week straight anymore because we had a day off in the middle of the week and then another day off in the middle of the week and then the next week came and I was expecting to have a day off in the middle of the week, but there is no day off in the middle of the week, so it's kind of weird, but yeah, it, uh, holidays were good for me, you know, just kind of chilled out and relaxed and didn't really, uh, didn't really eat too much, kind of just laid back and took it easy. It's very rare that I get a chance to actually sit down and take it easy for a little bit with everything that goes on on a daily basis. So it was kind of nice. It was absolutely nice. But, you know, one of these days we'll, uh, we'll be able to take normal everyday business hours. But for right now, we really got to stay on top of things. And, you know, going back to my next video about the grind and is it worth it, you know, that's a balance. It's a balance that you really need to find and I'm trying to find that balance right now because right now my sleep schedule is all messed up and it's winter time, dreary and drab and nasty out and the doors are closed down. So having motivation at a time like this is not very easy. So ultimately I'm trying to uh, make sure that I can kick myself back into gear and you know, get a new routine and, and everything else and just kind of put it all together and make it work. But we shall see. It's getting there. Absolutely getting there. All right. So I'm going to go in and grab some lunch at the wonderful Kayla Mays. And then we're going to come back out. And I'll talk to you guys on the way back. All right, guys. So lunch stop successful. I'm going to get out of this guy's way because... People can't fucking drive. Oh, what a nice day. Sometimes I wish that we could have weather like this all the time. 65, 70, 75 degrees. We'd be great. But it's Connecticut. This weather's really creepy. doesn't make any sense half the time like right now it's literally 60 degrees but I'm gonna stop talking about that so like I was saying before I stopped for lunch one of the things about you know that last video that I posted we won't get too far into it but I think I got the time money as well um, the grind and I see it every day. Oh, I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. I'm on my grind. Well, you know what? You're going to grind yourself right into the ground. And yeah, you might have stuff. You might have motorcycles and cars and money and gold chains and watches and you know all the other stuff that you deem to be successful. But I need more hands if I were to try to count the amount of people that I met who had tons and tons of money and absolutely zero happiness. None whatsoever. The most miserable people I ever met were people that spent their entire lives on the grind and doing, you know, what they thought they needed to do and they kind of got stuck in that squirrel cage 
he just kept running in circles and running in circles and eventually the life passed him by and they're miserable. So finding a balance is great. Like by all means, take a few years of your life, work as hard as you possibly can, get yourself a nice flow, and then keep working hard, but just don't kill yourself. And that's that's the balance that's tough because you know, you, you balance out, all right, do I put in 12 hours today or do I put in six and watch TV for the rest of it? Or, you know, do I put in 12 hours today or do I go hang out with friends and, and just not work? You know, and in my case, it's very easy to do because I don't have a boss. I don't have a nine to five. I have my shop and my shop is all dependent on me. So there are days like today, you know, I don't feel like doing anything today. And hence why I'm out on the bike. It's a nice day. We haven't had a nice day in a long time. And uh, I'm out on the bike and I'm riding around. And that to me is more important right now than driving all over God's creation trying to source a belt for a 2013 Sprinter that doesn't need to be done until Monday. So why am I going to waste my time today running around like a moron trying to find a belt and, you know, spending all kinds of money on gas and doing all kinds of stupid crap like that to try to get something done that literally doesn't have to be done until Monday. Now you can make the argument. Justin, why don't you just do it now, get it over with, and then you got the whole rest of the weekend to yourself. Well, the problem with that is in the wintertime, this day is not going to last. We might get another one tomorrow, but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So it's going to be warm and rainy. And look at this, I got a giant hole in my freaking glove. But uh, it's supposed to be warm and rainy. So you know what? Take advantage of these things while you can, because tomorrow the work is still going to be there. And now if I put in the effort tomorrow or Monday, then I'll, uh, you know, Saturday will be a wash and I will have had a decent time riding my bike in the middle of January. And, um, you know, so stuff like that. It's like finding a balance. And that's that's pretty much everything in your life. You know, you need to, you need to really balance out everything in your life and that's including you know relationships and friendships and you know things like partying and drinking and smoking and all that other happy stuff that goes along with life you gotta balance that out because you know what if you do too much of any one of those things you're, you're bound to, to leave something behind you know if, you, if you're drinking too much then you, you, that, that's a huge problem if you're smoking too much then you're just a happy idiot if, uh, you know, if you love too hard, then you forget about your friends. If you love your friends too much, then you forget about your significant other. Everything in life is a balancing act. And it's funny that I'm talking about balance while we're sitting on a motorcycle, which also requires balance. But everything in your life needs to be balanced out. Because when it is balanced out and something happens which throws that balance off, you will be more able to deal with it if your head is clear and the rest of your life is balanced. If you're living an unbalanced life, why am I sounding like a motivational speaker right now, but if you're living an unbalanced life and something bad happens, you're not going to be equipped to deal with it. You're basically just going to lose your shit. You'll end up crazy. Everybody around you will end up crazy. And uh, it's not really the best of things to do. So it's all about finding that, that middle ground everything, you know, especially with the, with the grind and the, and the work hard every day and, the, you know, no sleep, just work and all this other stuff. And although those theories are, are you know, geared towards successful people, those successful people, the well-balanced ones, are the ones that you see happy. The ones who spent their entire lives trying to get to a certain goal and made it there when they were 90 years old and realized, holy shit, where did my whole life go? Those are the people that are miserable. And you don't want to be one of those people. So that's, uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to do on that topic. I think, uh, I think we pretty much beat that one to death. And you know, I'm sure I'll get a bunch of nasty comments about how I just talk too much. And that's okay, because thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, you know, it's, I don't know. It's weird. Some things just make you kind of sit back and, and look at your life and how bad it might be, how good it might be, things you can do to change it, things you can do to, to make it better, things you could do that could make it worse. You know, that's also something you need to think about is, if I do this, is it going to make my life worse? Because I've made decisions in my life that have made it worse, that's for sure. But all in all, take care of yourselves. 
be uh, you know, be as kind to yourself as you possibly can and be kind to others, but just remember, you gotta love yourself first before you can love anybody else or anything else. So once you love yourself, you're golden. And now I think we're just gonna take the rest of this video and ride home without me yapping in your ear. How's that sound?